Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to The Last of Us Part 2. My name is Trophin at the Babylon Belgian, and we're still in Hillcrest. The game kind of made me do the uh, scrounging around in these buildings again, because apparently saving doesn't always mean it saves every little bit of progress that you made. And it would have probably saved if I went to this, uh, this truck over here and climbed over it. So, we're dealing oh with God, a very crowded area. Well, me, there we go. I think they might have seen me, but uh, we're chasing to Tommy me. really closely here, and there seems to be a lot of uh, houses on this uh, hill, probably why it's called Hillcrest. Um, there's a way over there, and it doesn't seem like I can really cross in that direction. I can go and check out the building, but the WLF, but... It does show a, a dead wolf this time, so... Ah, fuck the WLF. Okay, so the cycle continues. What do I do here? How do I... We just started. I shouldn't have said that to her. She's gonna treat me different now. I know it. I wish my fucking mask didn't fucking break. When did she figure out she was pregnant? Where were we a couple weeks ago? Boys, I remember her throwing up in Kenwick. This is too much. It all fucking makes sense, the throwing up. How tired she's been. What the fuck, Dina? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you trust me? But did you trust her? What should I do? It's too late to turn back. She's gonna end this whole thing as quickly as possible. So that's why she left Dina alone. Which is, of course... But I love this. Because we went from uh, fuck Fedra to fuck the WLF. Um... Which is, of course, going back to uh, either you die a hero or live long enough to become the villain quote from uh, The Dark Knight. I like to remember that when we do this. Ooh, this also seems to move forwards. Wait, then there's two ways to go, but let me check over here first. Doesn't seem to be anything in the counter. I'm pretty full up on resources, so I think the only thing I'm really looking for is ammo, if I can use that, or parts and pills, of course. Um, I don't think I missed any, but there we go. Another full rag, so that brings me up to full rags again, I think. Or is it? No, um, I would have been up to full alcohol if that was the case. But So a little bit of space, because I made another Molotov in the previous episode. But there might actually be a way around this. So there's a side way over here. And then we can get into this building, which seems to be a bookstore. That is nice, but we can find maybe another manual in here with another uh, skill tree. That would be very, very cool. But for now, bullets. Bullets are always nice as well. And a note behind the counter. Boris, wolves broke into Fedra HQ and found the enlisted rosters. I've heard they're starting to knock on doors looking for soldiers. I'm not going to be executed in my own town. After things calm down, I'll try to return with a new name. I couldn't find Alfie. I put his toad on your back porch. I'm gonna read that because his food on your back porch. That was, yeah, toad would have been a bit weird. In case I don't come back, give him lots of scratches for me. He always loved you and Sophia. Yolanda. So, interesting. So there might have been a dog left here. But other than that, this seems to be pretty small. So if you move through here, there should be a back entrance into this building, maybe? Huh. Maybe from over here? Can I actually get through? No. So there is a closed off door here that I can't immediately access, which is interesting. There might be, aha, there we go. There's a vent up here that allows me to ah, crawl gross. through. And that was probably why there was a, a rat noise over there. Oh, I was I wanted to check the room before I dropped in, but ooh. Yeah. So free health kit. Explosive materials. Um and what else have we got? Nothing over here, but there's another oh more adhesive. It's weird that you get that much adhesive, because I haven't seen a single melee weapon since uh, the last time. Uh, a few more parts, and that's basically it, it seems. So now we can open this up. 
and go through here. Now, I want to check that back area first. So if we go around this way, past the, the moving van, what is this exactly? See, we can get into a paper company or a printing company. Uh, another print here, but there we go. Um, I don't need the brick, do I? There we go. Just smash it with the melee weapon. That seems like a more efficient way to do this. Are there enemies in here? It doesn't seem like it at first glance. But uh, different drawers with different type of uh, types of paper. But again, a lot of stuff for the uh, melee weapon that I can't really use at the moment. But it builds, always appreciate it. More canisters. And... Hmm. A few singular pills and shotgun ammo. That is nice though. Ammo is always appreciated. Wait, can I see? Can I get a prompt there? Aha! There we go. There's a trading card in the uh, in the box. We can check that out. And it's Sahir the Sorcerer. For with no affiliation. I'm wondering if these are all um, developers that were working on the game or people that were working on the game. Because I know there's a card referring to Neil Druckmann the director of the game. Aha! And that's also pointing to Boris. What did we get ourselves into? The wolves were supposed to make things better. The military hoarded all the resources, controlled what we said, told us what job to do, and so far the wolves are doing the same exact thing. And now they're take, talking about moving everyone to the stadium. What? I grew up in this town. I survived the outbreak in this town. I'm not moving to some refugee camp where some asshole tells me when I can or can't wipe my ass. My ass, yeah. This is my home. We need a plan. We can't settle for the same thing. So yeah, that's basically the problem. They replaced Fedra, but then they just did the same thing that Fedra did. So nothing really changed aside from the fact that it's now a different group of people that's in charge, which is probably a running team in this uh, in this new world. But oh, there we go, breaking your ankles again. But that seems to be that area done. We opened up all the locked doors over there, so we might as well move through the coffee shop again and then go out the back. But yeah, again, no new melee weapon, which is kind of annoying because I only have one hit left in the machete, even though it looks immaculate again. Oh, this seems... I mean, it seems open, but it might just be that it's a normal rooftop. Well, aside from the barbed wire, that is. A normal rooftop. And rooftops are, of course, pretty empty. Ah, uh, this looks like we're gonna drop right into a combat arena. There we go. Hold the perimeter until we hear otherwise. Keep an eye out in case he comes this way. I got something. Shit. Let's get in there. So the dog definitely smelled me. Okay, girl. Check him out. Okay, so she's connected to the girl from the school. That'd be a hell of a coincidence if they weren't. I hate these small groups. Big groups, it's a straight fight. These loners, they can hide anywhere. I can actually grab sure. this guy in the back. Let's find him. I think I just moved out of the way. Is the dog still sniffing my normal trail? I think... She it is. Got something or not? I think I moved out of the way of that. And then this guy is going over there. And there we go. And we stab this guy. Can we actually stab? I don't want to kill the dog. Oh! Oh, but that was too bad. I think I started combat now, didn't I? I don't have a melee weapon, but I know there's a hatchet on that other corpse. But they kind of know where I am. If I move... If I move over here. Yeah, so they think I'm over there now. But the dog is down. Oh, I hated killing that dog. Um, if I go with the silencer, Pick something up, boy. 
Oh, there's another dog here. Okay, that's annoying. Um, I'm just gonna grab the shotgun now. There we go. Oh, damn. Oh, God. Okay, I think I hit her in the legs. So I can move over here. Oh, crap. The dog is coming around. There we go. Stab her while we're also moving behind the wall. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. We lost another soldier. Right in here. Boy. Ow. Come on, get over there. Ali, for fuck's sake. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Where's the dog? I'm almost down. Okay. Let's heal that off. Those dogs are annoying. Um, I could try and heal up again, but that's probably not. There's another one. For crying out loud. Um, let's swap to the rifle in here. Oh, come on. There we go. And then there's a... I think I saw another one. And I got him. There we go. Okay. Okay, I think that was it. Damn. That was no good. That was um, really bad, actually. Okay, I do not like killing dogs. That's that's horrifying. And there were three dogs in one. That's the first encounter with dogs, and they threw three dogs away immediately. Um, but I do, did get a hatchet out of that. I'm just gonna have to look around a little bit for everybody I killed. Especially, wow, yeah, that woman that I shot in the legs, she was screaming like for, for 10 seconds straight. Which makes sense. I mean, I shot her in the legs. But still, that was horrifying to listen to. So thanks for that, naughty dog. I really feel good about myself right now. Okay, so there's a giant safe in the original building here. So over there. And I'm assuming this thing also has... Oh no, it doesn't have a code. Okay, never mind. So I'm full up on alcohol and almost to rags. So I think I'm just gonna use another health kit then. Um, so let's do that. The game is... <laughs> I've been scrounging around for a while and the game tells me to go um, move forward apparently, but no, no, I'm still gathering resources game. I don't care about your, no, no, okay, that was not, that was not what I wanted to do. No, wait, wait, Ali, Ali, wait, there's another building on the other side I haven't checked yet. This building seems to be burned out, although there's another door over here. But that also just leads to the back, okay. I think I've seen everything now, although there is there, oh, that's probably just for if I managed to get the fight this far, but I never really did. So, wait, what's that? It's another brick. Okay, never mind. So let's go through the red door and be careful about it. Probably not, since I had to push it, so... There we go. Put your back into it, Ellie. Or maybe the shotgun on your back. Why would you lock that? Everybody's dead. Um, well... Guess we're moving forward. Luckily, I checked the other buildings out. So there's more explosive material here as well. I had the canisters, so yeah, I definitely make. I definitely need to use the bombs more because I have so many materials for bombs. So the stun bombs to start hitting people, and then the uh, the actual trap bomb to make people go boom and make them distracted. I could probably use that to take out dogs since I know where they're gonna go. But that just makes me sound like a horrible human being. I mean, yeah, I'm also killing humans, but humans are, you know... They decide to attack me. They decide they want to kill me. The dogs are just doing what they, 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 the owner is telling them to do. So I'm, I feel really bad about killing a dog. Okay. So we're moving up the hill. But I haven't heard any gunshots yet. So the gunshots from uh, where Tommy is supposedly fighting. Can we actually get up there? Nope. Seems like you could just jump up there, Ellie, but... 
Funny enough, there is a hole over there. And aha. So this thing is openable. Yeah, there we go. And that's gonna fall through. Fuck? Why fuck? Saw another thing here. Probably not. I think. Didn't make that much noise. Just a teensy little bit. Uh, but then we need to pull that up to... I got to move it, move it. And then I should probably put it to the side. Because if I put it on the slope, it will probably just go down. That's probably what that little cinematic was teaching me. So if I put it over here, I have a bit more time to get on it. There we go. And there we go. There we go. Easy does it. Easy does it. And then through the hole. That was a lot of noise. That was a bit more noise, I, I feel like. That's a bot I can grab and two bike helmets. Aha, because it seems to be a bike repair shop. I love the little details in this game. Just the uh, the way that the set dressing is done. I don't think I'll be able to craft anything, but there's some more healing over here. That brings us back to full. Which is sad, because that means I probably shouldn't have used my uh, third health kit there. But at least it gives me a bit more space to uh, catch another one if I want to. And that is again pointing towards Boris. I'm so sorry, what those wolves did to Sophia was horrifying. I can't help but feel somewhat responsible. I've been getting the town so riled up about standing our ground against the wolves. When she started spray painting over their rules, I didn't discourage her hard enough. I kept it from you. I thought she'd stop. I know you want to retaliate against the wolves. Believe me, I feel the same way. But we can't. Not now. We've got to be smart. Let things cool down. People will be looking to you for how to handle this. You were a leader here after the outbreak. I need you to be a leader again. Let's not let everything we fought for be in vain. Yuli. Okay. So, uh... Sophia eventually got killed, apparently. I got 50 more scraps. And a whiteboard with nothing on it. Fair enough. I could check it out, but I don't think... I'm gonna be able to make something useful. So no, I only have 28 parts and I can't do anything with those parts. So, revolver in hand. Let's uh, move into the next area. I don't think there was anything on the center thing. No. So I think that's fine. Yeah, I think we checked everything now. Moving forward. Into the next part of the bike shop. This, this is probably the shop itself. While we just went into the repair bit of it. First. And then we have a lot more alcohol. Which is really, really good. You can make Molotovs with that. If I ever bother to use one. And then we're back outside, but this looks like a combat arena. But it looks like a more wide open area, and if we can scrounge around in it, I'm guessing we're gonna face enemies. There's, again, stuff to look for, so I'll get back to you once things start uh, kicking off again. Okay, so there's a basement to this building, but it seems like it's a one-way trip, which is weird. Um, so I do want to check out the other buildings first, although, yeah, it might be that that just leads down here. It gives you another way out, although it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, let's check out the rest of this area first. Huh. An actual tattoo shop. Ooh. Tattoo shop, but this one has a lot of blood on it, so that's not, that's not comforting, is it? How are we on pills? Aha! 79, which means that we can now go to faster stealth kills. So stealth kills are faster and keep a lower profile. There we go, specialist. So our first skill tree completely done. And we can now quickly dispatch of enemies in a stealthy way. And we keep a lower profile so we're less likely to get spotted. We can hide behind low walls and stuff like that. Um, which is really, really cool. And I think there's a... Ooh, more ammo, always nice. And I think there's a note here. Is it also addressed to Boris? No, to Yuli. So that's the other way around. You know our hearts will always be with Hillcrest, but after Sophia's shooting, we've decided to head to the stadium with the others. We've got our own kids to think about. The Brandmans. P.S. saw Boris a couple hours ago. We tried talking to him, but he seemed off. Please talk to him. I hope you guys will join us. 
So that stadium is going to be something horrifying, isn't it? The Because uh, I feel like they were riling, well, gathering everybody up. Maybe to execute them all? I don't know. As if they're forcing people they know to be insurrectionists or something like that. To do uh, stuff like this, to gather around, then I feel like they might be willing to kill all of them. Can we actually go up here? Oh no, that's just that's just up and over the wall. Okay. Fair enough. We need to go into this building now anyway, so that seems to be a hairdresser, a salon. Well, scissors that we can't use, so that's not useful. But is there supposed to oh no, no, there is a corner out of this building, so that makes sense. So what would we need the container for? I could drag that all the way around, but for now I don't see a use for it, so I'll just leave it be. Because I can't get any higher anyway. And on the other side it seems like we have another, uh, yeah, a pet shop or maybe even grooming station. Which opens up through the roof. Oh crap. Oh crap. Um, in fact, it. That is interesting. Um, and that seemed to be. What were they called? Shamblers? Fuck. Shambler. Um, and I can't really kill these things. There seems to be. Another enemy over there. Is that another Shambler? No, that's a runner. So yeah, this guy's coming over here, so I'll be able to kill him like that. There we go. And it indeed is faster. And I think with the one-two punch, I might be able to kill the uh, the bloater. Uh, the bloater. It's not a bloater, it's a shambler. So let's just slowly move in. Slowly move in. He's gonna turn around, isn't he? If he turns around, I'm fucked. There we go. And then... And there we go. Oh crap, okay, he got me there. Um, where, where are the Molotovs? Where are the Molotovs? Where are the Molotovs? There's a Molotov. Um, throw. There we go. There we go. Okay. That was that. So for some, yeah, I need to be close if I want to. I need to hit him with a bottle and then stay close to immediately kill it in one go. But fair enough, we killed it. We got hit a little bit with the spores, but that was it, it seems. So we did use another Molotov, so that's... I mean, we need to start spending those resources anyway. Probably a bomb would also take him out. Um, and that's probably better if there are multiple enemies around, so we can just uh, take them out in their path and not get uh, spotted immediately when we do so. I think the one-two punch with the bottle is probably best for when you only have one left. Now, there's another note on the wall here. Um, yo. Not yo, it's probably a name, yo. When Dale comes by, he's gonna ask for the safe combo, but just walk over to the garage and put it in yourself, otherwise it's gonna bother you eight more times. The combo is 30, 82, 65. Someone needs to talk to his wife. I know she wants to think he's gonna get better, but it's time to get practical. I heard the WLF have some real doctors at their base. Nobody would blame her for leaving. Except Boris, but fuck him. So, the safe combo, 30, 82, 65. So in the back of the animal shop we get a bunch more pills. We needed to break open the window to do so. And it's actually pretty clever. If I would have done that before killing the infected, then we would have uh, triggered him probably. I could actually upgrade the hatchet to something more strongly. There we go. And then we get a bit more space for the extra supplies like the scissors over here. And there's another note. So probably the story of Boris, Yuli. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so Yuli, it was Boris. I saw him shoot that WLF patrol against their own van. Jesus. I get it, they killed his daughter, but he just signed our death warrant. We have one chance out of this, we turn him in. 
I know he's your friend, but if those wolves shot that girl over some graffiti, think of what they'll do to all of us if they think we're harboring the killing of three of their own. Let's meet at the usual place after curfew. X. Okay, so that's the first mention of somebody calling themselves X. And then we can open up this door and get back to the main area. We still haven't found the safe yet. Which, uh, yeah, might have to go look for. I can also go back to one of the other shops and get the healing I found there. Oh, you know what? I might just be able to move this out of the way. Because of the fact that there's... Ooh. Wow. Okay. The fuck? There we go. And then go in. Um, 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 um. There we go. And then the other one. And there we go. Okay. Okay. I should have probably used... What was that? Yeah, a proximity bomb or something. Because now I use the Molotov and one of those... I need to really remember what everything is. Because I just completely forget about everything the moment combat starts. So, Molotovs at the bottom. Bombs at the top. Weapons left and right. Got it. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, we did get hit like once or twice, but it's not the end of the world. Ooh, this place is... Like they've been locked in here for years. Yeah. How did they... Yeah, that's something I still don't... Ooh, that's a safe. Okay. I still don't get. How do they survive? Because, I mean, there's still people, and the fungi must have get... Must get their nourishment from a living host, so... There we go. Let's grab all the pills. And all the crafting materials and open up ooh, shotgun. Because I would I would think that the human body still works as a human body, so if that dies, then everything goes to shit. But let's uh, I totally forgot the I think it was 30. Yeah, I'm just gonna check. I'm I'm not gonna be. Um so Dale's combo is gonna be 30, 82, 65. Okay. There we go. Yes. Opening up the big green safe. Ooh, that is that is the holster for the big guns, probably. The secondary holster for that. Let's equip that. So that means that we can freely swap between, yeah, there we go. The shotgun and the long rifle. That is really good. Bunch of crafting materials and ammo. So this was definitely a weapons, uh, a weapons save. That is really, really nice. So there we go, now we can just swap between the shotgun and the long rifle. We actually have quite a bit of ammo. Um, let's just stay with the revolver for now. So I'm pretty sure I cleared out every building on this side of the street. So that means that we can now go into that basement. I know, I know, I need to go over there. Calm down, game. The game really doesn't like you exploring all that much. It just starts giving you hints and tips and everything. And it might be really useful, but... For now, ah, there we go, that's the healing I was looking for, and I think there's another one, yeah, over here, and that gives you quite a bit, there we go. Don't need to waste a, a healing item. Okay, so there's at least two of them here. I'm gonna try not to use um, my melee weapons. So there's at least a shambler. Okay, that, that bit of smoke actually looked like uh, something bad. So, I don't really see very well. So there's... I think he's... Yeah, he just entered the room. And this one entered the room as well. Okay. Got it. Um, I think I might just place one of these. Over here. Oh, wow. Okay, that radius was a bit too big, wasn't it? <laughs> what the hell? That just detected the shambler from like two meters away. Okay, let's try that again. So now that we know that that um, shambler eventually moves in this direction, might as well just place it over here and then move out of the way. 
Um, I am out of Molotovs though, so... I could use my melee weapon on the other Shambler. So that one is gonna die, but then... I'm guessing the second one is gonna try and go for that... The explosion. So he's gonna blow up. There we go. Is he... He should be right on top of it. That. Oh wow, he's not dead. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Um. I think the other one is still alive as well. Oh no, 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 that, that's one of the acid clouds. Oh wow, he just blew up in my face. Okay, yeah. That was... They don't die from a single bomb. And he didn't die from a single Molotov. What? Done. What in the hell? That smell. That was bullshit. Okay, so I don't have a clue of how to deal with them effectively then. Because a bomb doesn't do it, a Molotov doesn't do it. That was... Yeah, I mean, they, they, they saw me. I know that. But... Ooh. I need an efficient way of dealing with those. Because if there's two in the same area, then... That just doesn't make any sense, does it? I could have waited until... I should have probably be ready with the uh, Molotov. Because that would have allowed me to put the Molotov on both of them. Even though that other one, the second one, was actually hit by the Molotov a little bit. But probably not enough. So I needed to waste another bit of my axe on that guy. And then, of course, the... Uh, yeah, the second hit on the last guy, but yeah. Okay, fair enough. And I know the amount of bullets to take is also a lot, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit at a loss as to how to deal with those. Because they seem to be so resilient that you can't really one-shot them with anything. Especially on this difficulty, but... A lot of crafting materials. Oh, and we're actually full on rifle ammo. But I can make another bomb or two. Ooh, uh, yeah, definitely a Molotov. That's good. And then we make another proximity bomb, because they seem to be very powerful. And then the same for the, uh, the canister, the stun bomb. Now, I can only carry nine bullets? That's a bit silly. I mean, just put that somewhere in your pocket. That is... that is ridiculous. Okay, never mind then, I suppose. Let's move forward and remember that we're at the maximum amount of ammo for the long rifle. Okay, and then we can crawl underneath the wall here. Probably should turn off the flashlight just in case we run into any WLF or scars. And then we got a health kit. That is, that is much obliged, isn't it? I'll just hold off on it for now, but I think I can definitely use that because that would bring me close to full health. So, moving up through another building. It seems to be pretty dark. Listening mode doesn't indicate anything for now. Ooh, that seems like a toy store. Or maybe a daycare? That is kind of creepy with the infection going around. By the way, I think it's really weird that listening mode also allows you to see the tracks that uh, the dogs are following. Listening mode kind of makes sense, but then adding the dog tracks is just uh, a bit too much, I feel like. And we get another manual. There we go, in a very old corpse. Outdoor Sportsman. So let's read that. This issue, 15 hunting rifle scopes reviewed and rated. 10 things to know before you skin that deer. Bargain Hunter. How to find amazing deals on knives, cameras, night vision goggles and other gear. Okay, so let's put that away. And we got the precision branch. Let's check that out. That's probably gonna... Judging from the icon, that's gonna include some bow stuff, I'm assuming. Improve aiming stability and accuracy while moving. Um, sure. That sounds good. What else do we have? More effective health kits. I think that should be the next thing. Because this, yeah, more movement speed while aiming. Uh, more range for listening modes. Holding your bat to steady your aim and another skill. That's all very, very good. But... Yeah, let's just go with the, with this part first. So, 100% crafting speed. 
that goes in first. And then we'll go down that tree uh, after this. But that's good. Another uh, skill tree unlocked, which is going to be very, very nice later on. Because uh, I'm guessing we're going to get head straight into a combat encounter now. Because we just got precision abilities. Um, come get me, assholes. Okay, that's probably from Boris, I would think. Is this another... No, wait. Whoa, 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 wait. This is the same area. This... Wait, this is... This, this is the same area, right? Yeah, we're back in the... Uh, the main area. That is... That is really weird. For, aside from the fact that I now see the uh, graffiti. Uh, I'm guessing I need to uh, grab the container anyway and drag it all the way over here. Although, I don't think there's actually a free way to go past this, is there? No, it's all locked off, so I can't grab the container. So, yeah, I think I forgot about this. It's the door at the back of the uh, the bar that we went through with the, uh, the single bloater and the single runner. Um, that way brings us to the other side. So, is there something... Over here on the barrels? No, I think the barrels never really include items. There's a lot of completely fungalized corpses around here. Um, which is interesting. Ooh, arrows. Yeah, let's grab those. So that probably means that we're gonna be encountering a bow and arrow. Well, a bow rather soon, so we can use those arrows. Oh, okay. What was that? That was an explosion. I can run up here, but I should probably be careful not to trigger anything. So that came from over there. Oh, this is a wide open area, isn't it? Shit. Hope you did that, Tommy. Yeah, I hope we did that too. Oh crap, in fact it So there's one over there. I think can I go into this building? No, it doesn't seem like it. This is gonna be bad if I don't move quickly. I can probably grab the guy that's behind here. There we go. Stab him in the face. I kind of like this animation a little bit better because it just stabs him in the face. Oh yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be the end of me. No, 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 no! You haven't seen me. That actually took quite a long time for them to see me. He's gonna, she's gonna turn around. There we go. Okay. And down she goes as well. I should probably, I'm gonna use that, that health kit because that's gonna be bad otherwise. There we go. I need to be at full health most of the time at least. Um, I'm gonna grab the brick just in case I need to quickly throw that in somebody's face and finish him off with the last of my hatchet. It's really weird to talk about melee weapons as uh, charges. Because <laughs> I feel like it, 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 it's not how melee weapons work, but fair enough. I think we're good. Ellie didn't note, uh, note the fact that we're done, but I think we're done. I'm just going to quickly take a look around because I haven't checked that house over there, but it didn't seem like we could get in somehow, no. Okay. And then we go up and over this uh, fence. <coughs> Probably go down immediately and just check around. Seems like it's just nothing. Nothing at all. Ooh, jacuzzi. Jacuzzi. There is a house that we can enter. There's a back door that's open. Um, aha, there we go. Trading card at the back of the house here. The little toy house. Brainstorm trading cards. Okay, so let's just move in here quietly. Quietly as the night. If the night is quiet, there might be very loud nights as well, but 11 pills. Don't mind if I do. Uh, Ali, will you, will you please pick that up? Thank you. And then another letter, probably continuing the story of Boris. Yolanda, I'm sorry I won't be able to keep taking care of Alfie. You were right about the wolves. They turned out to be worse than the military. What I didn't expect is that our own neighborhood would turn on each other. They all saw what the wolves did to my poor Sophia. And what did everyone do want to do in return? Appease? I deserved wolf blood. They should have joined me. Instead, they conspired against me. So I got them first. It pain I poisoned them one by one. Not enough to kill them, just put them to sleep. Then I dragged them into the sport garage. 
So that's the group of people that we killed over there. That is sad. Yuli woke up, we wrestled, I shot him in there, but he bit me. Those traitors are going to watch each other are going to watch each other turn. They will suffer. I hope... Ah, they're gonna watch each other turn. Okay, yeah, turn into zombies. They will suffer. I hope they think of me when they lose their minds. I'm already starting to lose mine. It won't be long now. I hope you find peace somewhere outside of this shitty town. I hope you don't come back to see all of this. If you do, I'm sorry. Boris. Jesus. That was actually a very horrifying story, but now we actually got... An, ad an idea as to who those people were, that, those bunch of infected that was locked in with uh, the safe. And that's actually really cool. And we get another note over here. Ah, uh, okay. Fall into savings, sales. Okay, thank you for that, I suppose. Okay, we can go through this broken door. Oh, God. Um, um, cattle. Ah, uh, that's Boris. Oh, uh, that's Boris. Oh wow, he can actually fight back! There we go. What the hell? Hello, Boris. What? That's like... He was pretty... He could fight back. Like, intelligently. He just countered me. Interesting, luckily I still had the brick available. He didn't seem to be doing that much damage either. So that's something between... A shambler and a runner, yeah. but we got the bow out of it. This will do indeed. So now we have, I think it's the long rifle and the bow equipped, right? Yeah, so long rifle and bow. Should be fine for now. Because uh, the bow is really good because the bow is completely silent. So we can take out people from a distance without the need to make silencers. And there's more rifle ammo that we can't use. That is really starting to be really annoying that you can only carry nine bullets, but it is what it is, I suppose. So what would you call something like this? Is that like... So we get runners and clickers, but this one seemed to be more intelligent than either of them, actually. So maybe a stalker? Something like that? I don't know. They, they seem... Okay. That's one way to use mannequins. I mean, let's see. So okay. that's that. Can I grab the arrow now? Because this feels like a waste of arrows. I could probably just one shot the uh, all the mannequins. Stand still while charging your shots. There we go. Got it. And then this guy over there from a bit of a distance. There we go. This one was also in the middle, I don't know why he didn't lose his head. But there we go. You can sometimes recover your arrow from a headshot. Okay, so I still have four arrows, which is good. They didn't take that away from me. Um, now, wait, where do I actually need, need to go? Ah, over there, over the fence. Got it. So now we can use that immediately on some humans, I suppose. There we go. Got another trespasser, a girl. Did you see her? No, but the fucking guy is nearby. Oh, shit. We're looking for two. The fuck's all that smoke? He blew up one of our trucks. How should let that happen? Just find them. I want those fucking trespassers. Okay, so the dog is gonna be annoying. So the dog hasn't picked up my scent just yet. And I think I can headshot this guy without him seeing me. Crap. Who the fuck? We got a visual on her! Right over here! There we go. And there we go with the dog. That was messy, but... So that's... Okay, there's at least three she of them. Back that way. Oh, she's gone. Track her down. Yes, I am gone. There's absolutely no reason for you to start finding me. There we go. Okay, so there's one guy over there all the way in the back. 
But there's also a guy on the left. I don't think there are any dogs anymore. I saw that guy moving over there, so I think my best bet is going to be taking him out. Ooh, there is another dog. There is another dog, okay. Um. Wait a second. Oh, there's another guy over there. Flush her out! Gonna put a bomb over there. Ah, crap. If that guy comes over here... There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. That's that. Come on, buddy. How'd she get away? Oh, well, I, I didn't really. Escape. Didn't really. There we go. Come on. Where are your buddies? Chris, please hold my door. Where's the other one? Oh, oh. Okay. Ow, 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 Go down again, go down again, go down again. Ooh. I don't see her. You can't have gone I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal while we're at it. Okay. I'm gonna have to try and do this as dynamically as I can. So there's one inside of the building. I can probably draw the bow back and then keep it at that for There we go. Okay. First successful headshot with the bow and arrow. Got it. So she's gurgling out her last breath. And we seem to be able to move through the building a little bit more freely now. I should probably use the long rifle. To take out the last one. Ah, uh, damn it. Just out of sight. There we go. Through the ear. And then the other one is up there. So if they come through the window again, or they're making their way down, that might also be the case. Oh yeah. Ow. Seriously? There we go. Ooh. I think that was the last of them. Yeah, that was that was unintentional, but yeah, the last of them. Ooh, damn, that was a lot of enemies. But we managed to get through it almost in one piece. Needed to heal once. Because otherwise I would have been dead because of that long rifle shot at the end there. I think I was pretty good at scavenging the, uh, the corpses while we were going around. Uh, and I didn't make a bit of space in my other weapons for some resources. So let's grab everything we can get and I'll see you guys in a second. Apparently 12 is also the maximum for the revolver bullets, so that is sad, but it is what it is. Hey, I oh, okay, okay, they're not all dead. They're not all dead. Where'd she go? There we go. And he goes down. Did we actually get spotted again? Okay, so there's one over there. And there we go. That's another one down. I should probably move out. She ran into that house. So that's ah oh, the dog. No, not the dog. Not the dog. Um, turn, turn. Right here. There we go. And then we can probably, you know what? Let's just. Ooh, I can actually craft arrows with that now as well. Okay, that's really good. But first and foremost, melee weapon. 
And then the last one is apparently over there. So he was yelling at his buddy, but he's not going to do anything to me, is he? Because he's too far away. I think I, where's the guy that I shot? He's over here. Okay, he doesn't seem to have much. But this is Grawl, so if I just go over here. Yeah, he's over there. And I think if I just hold the bow like this. Come on, turn around, buddy. Turn around, buddy. Oh, this thing is really twitchy. No. Crap. Is it the only guy left? No. Here I come, asshole. It's most it's most definitely isn't. Oh, come on! No, no, no. Yeah, on it. So, is she coming closer? She is. There we go. Oh, there's another dog. Hachi, get away! Let's find her, come on! Oh, God! I don't have... I don't have stuff anymore. So here goes. Oh crap, there's a lot of them. Um, oh crap. And I'm dead. Wow, that was two shots. There we go, this time I did get him with a stealth kill. Now, if I just draw the bow, I know there's one on the sides here. Or not. There she is. There we go. Okay. So yes, according to the game, I can actually craft more arrows if I want to. But for now, it doesn't seem like I really need to. Okay, so there's a shit ton of houses over here and a shit ton of materials that I could gather. But I'm basically full up on everything again after scrounging like four houses around this area. I don't know if I can open this up. No. But I think I'm pretty much done with the houses over here. So I went to that big one over there. Uh, this one over here as well. So I think it's high time we kill those final... But at least I hope it's those final two enemies. So, last time they actually ambushed me from that house in the corner. But right now I actually have the upper hand. There's a little... I don't know what this is supposed to be. Garden shack? I don't know if we're in the garden of somebody else or not. Okay, so there's a guy with a dog over there. They seem to be going through everything rather quickly. There we go. And now we slit his throat and stab him in the chest. I think this window doesn't have any glass, right? Yeah. Oh, there's two of them. There's another one over there. So that killed the dog. At least he's not going to annoy me. So if... I can spot both of them through the walls. If any of them want to follow me... There's a third guy in the back. Well, I could just burst through the window and grab him that way. That would be that would be a little bit too badass, I think. So let's just take this window. So they are actually covering their own backs. That's really cool. And then we can grab this woman. Stab her. And then move and grab this guy from the back. Yeah, he's not going to spot me, is he? Hello. Hello. Peripheral vision, buddy. Peripheral vision, buddy. And there goes another one. He gives me... Very generously provides me with another bullet. And then the last guy. I know there's a third guy. Should probably be careful not to spot him through all the windows here. That killed a dog. No, 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 don't put that away, Ali. I know for certain there was another one. That's weird, I could have sworn there was a third enemy around here, but... They seem to have disappeared, so scrounging. So then, 
we've got enough supplies again to move forward and I think we're getting pretty close to that explosion so I think after this door I should get like I don't know a safe point or something like that so we can actually end the episode here there's all the supplies over here and then another health kit but I'm full up on health kits and I'm full up on health so that's that's not gonna help anybody so Dropping down, and then we'll save over here, because that's going to be definitely a checkpoint. There we go. So, with that, from the grass, I'm going to take a little break. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of me killing so many soldiers and dogs that I feel really bad and I need a little bit of a nap. So, thank you guys enormously for watching, and hope to see you in the next episode of The Last of Us Part 2. Goodbye.